this Twitter bird was folded from a 15 by 15 centimeter square of Kami paper. Um, in the video, I'm going to be using this uh, printer paper that is 5.5 by 5.5 inches. It's also square and it's a super easy model and it only looks good at the front. The back doesn't look right as it doesn't look like the Twitter bird. So the first step is to fold the diagonals. And we're going to make a water bomb base. So fold uh, these creases too. So fold in half. Unfold, rotate, and fold this way. Unfold, turn the paper over, and you're going to make a water bomb base. And if you don't know what that is, what you're going to do is uh, fold it like this. So you're going to fold both diagonals at the same time, like this, and then flatten. Now you're going to divide it into thirds, so you can just estimate here. And make sure that this tip is touching that crease, the center crease there. And you can like fold this back to make sure. You see there, it's not perfect, so I can make it a tiny bit less. It's not still not perfect, but I think it's good enough. You don't need to fold it too exact. Now you can unfold and fold this edge to that crease you just made. Increase it sharply. And now we're going to sink it. So you're going to open it up a little bit and make these creases mountain folds. This one's already a mountain fold. Like this. And then we're going to sink it in and then out. So now I'll make these valley folds. And also these diagonals. You're going to pinch those. And if you're using like a thicker paper, like printer paper or kami like this, then it'll kind of do it all by itself. And when you get to this point, you're going to make mountain folds along these creases and valley folds here. Like that. And then flatten. Now you're going to do the details, which are not exact folds. Most of them don't have any reference points. So I'm going to keep looking at this in between because I don't exactly remember. 
So this is going to be the wing. And these two flaps are going to become the head. And this is going to be the tail. And if these, if you act, really don't want this part sticking out a little bit, you can fold that in. But that was because we didn't make exact thirds. So you could like hide it like this. Now, if we look here, this is the center crease, I think. So, you're going to make a fold about there. So that would maybe be, let me unfold this. Maybe there, this should be good. Okay, and this tail is like this first, and it'll be like that. Okay, so you find that point, and you make a crease that's perpendicular to this edge. And you do that by starting the crease there and aligning it with this edge. Now we have that crease, and now we're going to take this crease and bring it to this edge. So like this, making a 45 degree angle. Let me make sure I'm doing it correctly. Or maybe not. Let's see. It should go... I don't think these have any reference points, actually, so... Just fold it, like, about, like, this, I think. Let me see this. Yeah, maybe like that. And then... You just have to hide this extra paper, so... You could kind of wrap it around here and then unfold and then fold it to the inside maybe like that and then we have this part so that is the head and the tail we can make a little curved crease right there just to make it look a little more round And that looks pretty good. And I can, you can adjust this wing if you need to. Now we're going to fold this back a bit. Maybe like this, I think. That should be good. And now, let's see. You're going to, you know, wait, let's unfold this. What you're going to do first is fold this edge to this edge on both of the things, both of the flaps to just narrow this corner. Now you're going to fold this back, and I have to stop for a moment here, but I can do this. You're going to round off this part, so just fold back a little bit. Maybe like that. 
Now, I think this looks pretty good. Okay, we're almost done. Now, we're going to spread those layers to make the beak. So fold this up. Maybe like this. So you're going to fold this up and just maybe try to shift it around until it looks good. And then that you can maybe fold a little bit like this. And that looks pretty good. Now we need to lock it so that it doesn't unfold like this. What you're going to do is just fold this over. See that crease there? And you might want to fold one here too, but I think this is fine. Let me just adjust it a little bit. And there we go. Let me fold this here too, just to make it a little bit more. It's getting a little thick there since it's printer paper. But here it's no problem. So let me just refold this. And here we have our two Twitter birds, a white one and a blue one. And this needs to be in a blue background. This one needs a white background. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you want, you can uh, maybe send me a picture on Twitter or something. If you folded it, that would be really nice. And I hope you liked it. And hopefully... Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.